been a really screwed up day for me. I went over where I got the bike. I went over there and decided I was going to take it for a test run. And I'm so damn fat, I can't even get my leg lifted up over that middle thing there. It ain't much higher than the pedals are without having to stand on something to get over them. So that means if I get, get on it with the assist or something, it's going to have to be something I can take with me, maybe hang on the handlebars or something to uh, sit back down there to help me get off and on again. Because if I run into something I want to pick up, I'm going to have to get off the damn thing and do it. So I'm ticked about that. And then I can't figure out why in the world am I grunting and groaning and breathing heavy like all this has come on in the last year. And now I know what's going on. A year ago, I weighed 244 pounds, which is too much but I was comfortable. Now, I stopped at Publix a while ago. I had to pick up some more um, rechargeable batteries. And there was this scale. And I thought, hmm, wonder how much more than 270 I am now. Because the last time I weighed, I was 270. I knew I was putting on fast. But I didn't know I was putting on that fast. i tell you what, YouTubers, I am looking square. I ain't there yet, but I'm looking right at 300 freaking pounds. I weigh 287 pounds, 3 pounds away from 290, 13 pounds away from 300. It ain't no damn wonder my health's been declining. And what I did, I fell into a trap. When all this diabetes come on, I thought, well, I only, I'm, I'm only going to eat foods that don't have sugar and stuff in them, you know, that's bad for my diabetes. And that's what I did. And, but I totally forgot about calorie consumption. I'm only supposed to have, to lose weight that I weigh right now, I need to eat 2,200 calories a day or less. To maintain what I am weigh right now, I need to eat about 2,400 calories. <sighs> so, I go on the internet and I start looking up, I want to see calorie charts and all this stuff. And of course, there's all kind of charts up there, but every time you try to, they say that here's certain foods you shouldn't eat, and blah, 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 and then you click on it to see what it is, and instead of telling you what it is, they go into this big ass commercial telling you about their diet and how they're approved for this and that and all that crap. And in the end, they're going to want money for it. I want a chart. I don't want that crap diet. I just want to know what the calories are. So that was a bust. And ever since I started doing these YouTube videos, I'm, I'm in awe of my big fat ass. But you know what? I ain't a big fat ass. I ain't got no ass. You notice that? I ain't got no butt. It's gone, and I tell you where it's gone, it's gone right up here.
Dang. So, it's been, my diet's been kind of like robbing from Peter to pay Paul. So now I've got this bike, and I'm fixing to show you what I'm talking about getting on the damn thing. I mean, this is awful. It's embarrassing, too. You know, my grandson's been on it, the one that's got cerebral palsy. He just ride up and down the road, no problem. My daughter can get on and off of it, and she's a big girl. Ride up and down the road. My little grandson, he ain't interested. That's a good bike. It's a swim. Let me turn this thing around. So now there it is. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I need a damn stool. Three days ago, I could have built me a stool. But hell no, I done sold all my tools and machines and my wood, everything. But here you go, just watch this. And you can laugh your ass off too, I don't care. Ah, uh, dang it. You think that I could put my damn... I just can't get my damn... I can't get it up. Now, if I have something to step on, to just give me that little bit of height. All right, now I hope I can do this without busting my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna need something higher than that. Son of a bitch. Can't get them up there. Good God. Wait a minute. I know something I might be able to do. Now, I can stand on them things there, maybe without busting my ass. And there's a reason I'm doing this on the grass, in case I do fall. You know what? Now the problem is getting my damn feet on the mm. shit, God Almighty.
Okay, there's a learning curve to this. Yep. I'm going to need a stool, a lightweight stool that I can use to get on and off and then hang it back up here on the handlebar to put it in the basket. And I figured out Okay. Now this thing is supposed to lock the brakes if you pull that and press it down. But it don't stop it. Well, I need that. be peeing up a tree. I might be peeing up a tree. Son of a bitch. You know what? Hey, Jay! <laughs> Stupid. Fat. Pot belly. Jay, Jay! I mean, look at this damn belly. Look, I ain't never had a belly that big. And boobs? You wouldn't believe I got suspenders on on the left. And boobs, I got boobs that'll make some women jealous. JJ!
Hey, AJ! I need somebody to help me get off this damn thing. There your little fuzzy ass is out, out here in the front yard again. Blue! I hate to have to make myself fall to do this, but God dang it. How can I do this? Um Oh I know, maybe See if I can do it this way. Take that. Don't hit. That was bad. Here's my ride. Hundred seventy five dollars. And the bike's over three hundred if you went to a dealer and brought it. Um I suppose I could Start trying to stay in shape and start doing some exercise that treadmill. I'm doing, I'm doing six minutes walks on that whew, on that treadmill three times a day. So that's 18 minutes of walking. Um, that's not extreme, but it's extremely tiring for me. It's not so much tiring in my feet and my legs as it is my arms because I can't just stand up on it and walk and not hold on to anything. I have to hold on to something or I'm going to bust my ass. So, Jesus Christ. I got If I had some kind of something made that would fold up to the middle and then drop down and make a step for me to get stand on, then fold back up and be out of the way of the pedals. Hmm. It would have to be pretty hefty because when I step on it and start to put my leg over, that's going to be putting almost 390 pounds on that thing. 390 pounds. Oh, Lord. Folks, when I went in the Army in 1959, I weighed 166 pounds. When I come out of the Army, I weighed 180. And then I met my wife and everything, and got married and I shot up to 200.
that lasted a year or two, and then uh, 220, I remember 220. I don't know what happened from there. That's what's going to have to be. I, I, unless I come up with some kind of step. I think I could. But it would have to be welded to it, have to come down about pedal level. Well, I was going to do this great video today of me riding down the damn road on that thing. And I just noticed this sucker's got a double sprocket on it. It actually takes two chains to run this thing. I wonder why they did that. Well, I need to plan me a I need to plan me a low calorie supper. Now what would that be? Would it be potatoes? No. I don't know. I guess I'll go steam me some cabbage. See if I can turn this thing off. This remote, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. If I disappear, it works. on that bike and ride it. Found out that I weighed 287 pounds. And I'm supposed to only be eating, just to maintain the weight I've got now, I'm supposed to eat about 2,400 calories a day. To lose weight, I need to eat 2,200 or less. And I total up what I ate yesterday, 3,500 calories. So that's way, way over. It ain't no dang wonder I've been gaining weight. And I should have knew it. You know what? Oh, crap. 
No, I got it. I should have known that I was getting way out. Because I ain't never had a belly this big. And I used to have some butt, and I ain't got no butt no more. Oh. Uh, so I did get online, and I started checking on what I've been eating, and what I can eat, and what I can't eat. And basically, it's not what I can't eat, it's just how much I eat. That's, that's, that's been the problem. Because I fixed me up a menu for tomorrow, starting tomorrow. And in the morning I'm having one serving of oatmeal. That's that instant oatmeal. Quaker oats. And it's going to be the peaches and cream. And I'm allowing myself two cups of coffee. That's breakfast. That's 230 calories. Mid-morning I'm going to have another oatmeal. Probably the blueberries and cream. And one coffee. That's 170 calories. Lunch. I'm having two fried eggs. One coffee. And one of them fried eggs is going to be between two slices of the rye bread with a slice of cheese on it. That's about 340 calories. Dinner or supper. I'm having two cups of steamed cabbage, a medium baked potato, uh, with one patty of butter. That's 397 calories. So that right now is only looking like four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That, gosh, that's only a thousand calories. Well, I'm gonna go with this and just see how it is. And I probably need to start taking some vitamins. And I'm gonna have to get some fruits in it. You know, all vegetables and fruits and stuff in too. But that's the plan. I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm, I'm going back down. Um, I lost all my pictures from years ago in a fire. But I've got one. It shows me in 1961. This was in Germany and I had a family that I hung out with. A German family I hung out with and I got those were three of the kids that day and they, they snapped a picture of me and the girl and the youngest boy. And just look at that beautiful waistline on me. Just flat. I mean, you know, no flab. I mean, it's black and white, but I'm going to post that on this so, so you can see it. Uh, anyway, that's the plan, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing 18, total of 18 minutes a day on the treadmill. Uh, and I'm going to rig up something to where I can start doing lead up lift, you know, to see if I can get it to where I can pick my legs up to get over that piece on the bicycle. Well, I can't do that, and I, I just wasted money on that bike. Of course, my little grandson loved it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's the plan, YouTubers. That's the plan. I hope I can. I shouldn't have too much trouble sticking with that. You know, I still can eat. Anyhow. That's all, folks.